Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone and I hope all you shooters and reloaders out there are having a nice Labor Day weekend. Now this is a VR for Spider Extra 777 who's having problems because his Lee 2 cavity mold is dropping bullets that are 0 .002 inches too small. So for instance his 452 mold such as this 452 bullet here is dropping bullets that measure 0 .450. Now that's terrible because small bullets are like poison. I was telling Spider Extra 777 that small bullets is like an alkali poison pond. You can't have that. You'll get leading and you'll get bad accuracy and bad performance. So the simplest and most effective solution is to take that mold and send it back to lead precision and say this mold is not adequate because it's casting bullets 0 .002 too small. Well, lead precision is going to come back to you and ask, well, what kind of alloy are you using and what temperature are you are you using? As that might make a difference in the size you're getting. Well, let's look at that. In years past, I don't know if it's true now, but when you bought a big piece of Lyman casting equipment, they used to include this instruction guide for bullet casting and reloading and it's a pamphlet. They used to include that and so I had a bunch of these. I kept one. Should have kept the rest of them because I could give them to people. Because now they cost $1.75 or so to buy this. But inside this manual, and some of this information is in the Lyman uh, Cast Bullet Handbook, but inside this gives a table of what happens to the bullet size when you vary the hardness of the alloy from pure lead to wheel weights to number two alloy to linotype. So it's going from soft to hard. And all these bullets here in different sizes, rifle and pistol, is all the same. The harder the alloy, the bigger the bullet casts. So for instance, take the 45 ACP bullet here. With pure lead, it drops out of the mold at 0.4515. But if you use pure linotype, it drops out of the mold at 4535. That's a whole 0 .002 inches difference. Well, why is that? And the reason is, if the alloy is pure lead, then the alloy is free to shrink as it cools. And it will shrink the most that it can. But if you have antimony and tin mixed in there, that impedes the shrinkage because you got all this, all this extraneous different kinds of material in the alloy, so it shrinks less, yielding bigger bullets. So you can, you can easily vary your bullet diameter by 0 .001 by varying the hardness of your alloy, either going to a smaller bullet or a larger bullet by going softer or harder. Do I recommend to Spider Extra 777 that he start fooling around with his alloy trying to get bullets that are bigger than 0 .450 to drop out of his mold? No. Still the best solution is to get Lee to go ahead and, and give you a mold that has slightly larger cavities to give you a larger bullet. That's the best way to do it. Now it turns out that temperature also has a, has a difference. If you use an alloy that's really hot, say around 900 degrees, if you pour bullets with that alloy, that bullet will cool a lot more because you're using a real hot alloy. So that means it will shrink more, giving you a smaller bullet. If you use an alloy that's colder, say around 675, well then that alloy won't shrink as much. So you'll get a little bit larger bullet to drop. Now that difference might only be 0.0005 to 0.001, less than 0.001 inch, but it might make the difference to get, to get you the bullet that you want, the size that you want. But again, the best solution is to get mold cavities that will drop the size you want with the more common alloy that, that you might have, say wheel weights or range scrap with a little bit of tin and anemone added. You don't want to have to vary your alloy a lot because you don't want to have bullets either that soft or that hard. 
so you shouldn't have to compensate by using your alloy and your temperature to get that. But it's good to know that within reason, you have a little bit of room to play with the size of your bullet by varying the alloy and temperature of your lead. So, shooters and reloaders out there, hope this is a little bit helpful. And Spider Extra 777, you're still your best bets to send it back to Lee and get a mold out cast without having to do gyrations. But the gyrations are available. See you in the next video. Bye for now.